Hello everyone. In this video, I will show you how to replace the command SSH copy ID. So this command is supposed to be part of OpenSSH, but it is not available anymore in OpenSSH. So to find the alternative, we have to go to the documentation website of Microsoft and here we can click on deploying the public key. So if we scroll down, we can see that we have to execute this command to send the public key to the server. So this command is using SCP. Now I will show you how to use it. So let's open a command prompt. And let's connect to the remote server. So I will connect to the server using the username test. And this is the IP address of the server. Now let's hit enter. And let's provide the password. Now I am connected to the server. So let's close this connection and let's create public and private keys. So let's type SSH keygen and let's hit enter. So by default the private key will be saved in this file. Let's accept this default file and let's hit enter. Let's hit enter again. Then let's hit enter. Now the public and private keys have been created correctly. And this is the public key that I need to send to the server. So I need to send this public key and to save it into the folder called .ssh on the remote server. Now let's make sure that the folder .ssh exists on the remote server using the following command. So the folder .ssh must exist on the folder of the user of the remote server. Now let's hit enter. And let's provide the password. Now let's send the public key using the SCP command, followed by the path of the public key on the local machine. Then I have to provide the username and the server address. And finally, I have to provide the location on the remote server where to save the public key. So the public key should be saved into the folder called .ssh, into the file called authorized keys. Now let's hit enter and let's provide the password. Now the public key has been transmitted correctly. Now we can connect to the server without providing any password. Let's hit enter. And we are connected correctly to the server. Finally, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.